Amanda Serrano prepares herself for a triumphant return to the ring after fighting and winning the most important match for women's boxing in recent years. Facing her is Nina Maika, who comes after her ravaging the German women's boxing scene. Defeating the widely regarded GOAT of worldwide boxing would lead to her heights unknown. Of course, Serrano is a heavy favorite, but the powerful and muscular Maika is a dangerous opponent who should not be underestimated. This is the fight that boxing fans will not want to miss. The stakes are high, and Serrano may very well be under a lot of pressure for a long time. This is all that led up to it. Serrano gears up. Amanda Serrano needs little introduction. She's had the quintessential upbringing that seems almost completely necessary to craft the kind of earth movers in boxing as herself. The child of humble Puerto Rican immigrants to New York ended up proving all her naysayers wrong and went on to create an impressive amateur boxing resume, fighting her heart out as an amateur. It wasn't long before she captured the state Golden Gloves title and became known as one of the best female boxers fighting out of New York. The climb up the professional ladder has been slow and agonizing, but she outdid herself with every successive match and through sheer will, got people to notice. People started to watch women's boxing more and more. She's consistently leveraged her profile and steadily rising fame in order to actively champion the cause of women's boxing. Throughout her career, Serrano has been an advocate in the fight against unequal wages in women's boxing when compared with male counterparts. Indeed, her much-anticipated match against Katie Taylor on the 30th of April 2022 that marked her first professional loss in 10 years still maintained this as the theme of the match despite the pre-fight trash talk. The match marked a moment where two women boxed as equal competitors to men in a sold-out show that awarded both seven-figure payouts. And the venue couldn't have been more prestigious. It was Madison Square Garden after all. It was just a crazy feeling. You had two women main eventing a sold-out MSG. Who would have thought that? Serrano said at the event. You had two great champions going out there, giving it their all, and the crowd was truly amazing. On top of advancing women's boxing in general, by heritage, she's also inspired the introduction of more and more Hispanic women into the sweet science. It can be confidently said that she's played a crucial part in heightening the fortunes of combat sports in coming years. And of course, we will leave our estimation of Serrano incomplete without mentioning her match against Daniela Ramos. This was a full-length 12-round fight with three-minute rounds, just as long and just as grueling as the highest billing men's fights. It was the first time since 2007 that a women's championship fight went the distance of 12 rounds. The fight was a showcase of skill and determination, and it helped to prove that women are capable of competing in grueling fights just like men. Serrano's victory was also a victory for gender equality in boxing, as she helped to advocate for the right of women to compete in longer fights. The fight also sparked a debate about whether women's boxing should universally adopt three-minute rounds. Indeed, with her victory, she succeeded in making the case undeniably strong. Counting her upcoming match against Mikey, there are a total of 50 fights to Serrano's name. She's accomplished a lot and has crafted a list which includes 18 world title fights at seven weight divisions. These are featherweight, lightweight, super flyweight, super lightweight, super bantamweight, bantamweight, and super featherweight. Combined with a superb 62.5 KO rate, Amanda Serrano stands a legend. The new Christina Hammer. Nina Meinke was born on March 4, 1993, in the German capital of Berlin, and today stands as one of the most promising women's boxing prospects, standing in line for world championship titles. She grew up in the aftermath of the German reunification and at a time of great optimism in the country. The skies were limitless, and she could be anything she wanted to become. Beyond that, however, Further details of her childhood are unfortunately missing online. It's an opportune moment to reflect on the fact that many athletes may prefer to keep their private lives private. But we do know that she has spent at least a significant part of her teenage years in the UK as she sat studying for her A-levels examinations in Scarborough. This would be revealed following her fight against Katie Taylor. During her amateur career, she fought over 70 fights. However, detailed records of her amateur career are not readily available online. Nevertheless, her stature and athletic persuasion meant that sports was going to be the way forward for her, and she picked boxing. She made her professional debut on May 6, 2016, against Bahana Libazuska, and won by unanimous decision. The rest of the year was spent brutalizing her local German opposition, resulting in memorable matches against the likes of Karina Smallenberg and Cleopatra Tonai, the latter of whom she defeated via TKO. 
2017 started with a resounding success, as on March 4th of the year, she won the vacant WBC Youth Female Super Featherweight title against Asana Tukic. It was a show of utter domination, as Tukic was knocked out in the first round, making for one of the shortest matches fought by Manka. She was proving to be a formidable professional boxer already, as her overwhelming power and toughness was on full display against Tukic. She had hoped to repeat her success against Katie Taylor, but this match resulted in her first loss by TKO at the hands of the then 4-0 record-holding Taylor. Taylor, being light on her feet and far more focused, managed to punish Mikey throughout the fight quite brutally. The fifth round saw her receive a cut above her left eye during an accidental clash of heads. It was a nasty gash, and Taylor kept throwing hurtful punches. Eventually, a stoppage had to be issued. This match would prove to be a great learning experience for Mikey, especially in regards to opponents who were faster and punched more accurately than her. After this defeat, she only ever lost two more fights. On November 18th of 2017, she won the inaugural GBU Intercontinental Female and vacant WIBF Intercontinental Super Featherweight titles against Grecia Nova nonetheless. Following that, her next notable achievement came on November 17th, 2018, when she won the vacant European Female Featherweight title against Lucy Setlakova. She defended this title on April 13th, 2019, and she successfully retained the European Female Featherweight title against Helene Lascombe. Following this, she focused for a period within the local scene of her native Germany, and after a series of impressive victories in 2020 and 2021, she got her first shot at a world championship title. This was the first fight against Sarah Mafud in 2022 in Denmark for the IBF World Featherweight title. It was long and hard, and she was ultimately guided to a unanimous decision loss over 10 rounds. With her first title shot being lost, but still being able to command lucrative fights, she got to work fighting her way up once again. 2022 and 2023 were both action-packed years for her, defeating Karela Smalzenberg once again, going on to win the WBA Gold and the IBF Intercontinental Featherweight belts respectively. The latter was won against a capable Laura Ledzema, proving to be an uplifting precursor for going ahead with the biggest match of her career as it's going down soon. Remaining respectful of her opponent Amanda Serrano, ahead of her first 12x3 fight, she nonetheless appears determined. Well, of course, Amanda is a very strong boxer, and I really respect her, but I'm also a very skilled fighter. I had a long amateur career and fought over 70 fights, so I'm also an experienced boxer. This is going to be a great fight. We will show the world that women's boxing is very good and strong. After all, she has the opportunity to become the undisputed featherweight champion. Fighters compared. It's well known that Amanda Serrano has made her bones being a superbly athletic and powerful knockout artist. The 62% KO rate speaks for itself, as well as those who have competed against her as opponents. Her background as a young competitive swimmer and intense training methods have created the basis for a high level of stamina from which she could up the rest of her game. Under the training of brother-in-law Jordan Maldonado, she's adopted an aggressive and hard-hitting punching style never letting up on her opponent and always looking to beat them into submission. This has served her well, also thanks to her height and reach advantage within the weight classes she's dominated. In many ways, it can be said that her reputation precedes her in a fight, combined with the sledgehammer equivalent that she hits her opponents with during a fight. It's no wonder that she's had the honor of being an undisputed featherweight champion. Most importantly, she fights Southpaw, and as we all know, Southpaws with the skill to back it up proved to be a tough puzzle to crack. It's even harder if the Southpaws having a field day beating you bloody. And this is where Serrano's own challenges start, as Nina Mikey is also a Southpaw. Southpaws typically find themselves being effective against fighters who go orthodox. The orthodox stance is by far the more common of the two. And Southpaws like Serrano most commonly bloody their gloves against orthodox boxers. Nina Mikey being six feet tall also adds complexity to the situation as Serrano is more or less dwarfed by her. This gives Mikey unassailable reach against Serrano, who will have to get creative like never before and adopt much of the same strategies used by Katie Taylor when she defeated her by points. Lastly, Nina Mikey has proven herself to be much like Serrano in the way she fights, scoring knockout after knockout throughout her career. She does pack a mean punch, even for Serrano. Ultimately, what it may come down to the fact is of the two, it is Serrano who has won a 12-round match with 3 minutes per round. Mikey is about to fight her first 12-round match against her, 
and her strengths may ultimately prove to be her weakness if she doesn't pace herself accordingly. In this regard, Serrano stands confident. I've done everything I wanted in my boxing career, Serrano said. So I think now it's just to set different standards as far as women's boxing. I'm an undisputed champion, and I think I want to continue to do three minutes. Two minutes, it makes no sense to go backwards, she said after beating Danila Ramos. But what do you think? Will Amanda Serrano hold her ground yet again? Or will Nina Mikey step into unquestionable legend now? We'll see you again when the dust settles on the canvas.